when is the best time to post your social media content, your blog post, your social update, whatever it is that you may have created. That's what we're going to be covering in today's video. My name is Kevin from the Online Visibility Agency, and today we're going to talk about what the best time is or how do you find out the best time to post your content online. And I know people obsess over this question because it's something that's deemed as high importance. I need to post when I know my audience are online. But how do we know when they're online? Because people are people and people aren't always creatures of habit. They're often erratic in their behavior. And when they may be online at this particular time, this week, next week, it may be a completely different situation. So we can use tools. Uh, so scheduling tools will give you data about when your posts were more popular, when it deems based on uh, cumulative history that it will be more appropriate for you to post and your people are more likely to see it within the first sort of 15, 20 minutes of you posting. But again, it's not an exact science. It's really done on the basis of what it sees over a small period of time. So I think it's a question that you need to not obsess over. We post in the UK, sometimes I post stuff out for clients at two o'clock in the morning and it's the best performing content as in reach and engagement than stuff that I would post out at nine o'clock in the morning because everybody posts out at nine o'clock in the morning and because they think their people are there reading and looking at this stuff. So it's really dependent on your audience, what you feel is right and some of the responses you get from actually talking to human beings about when they've interacted and seen your content. And I think that's the key where you need to be here. Don't obsess over it. It's not going to do you any favours. But try and be a little bit careful as to when you do put it out. And if you start to see a pattern emerge over time, so for example, VAs we know uh, often around on a Sunday, certainly a Sunday afternoon stroke evening as they're preparing for their week ahead. So they'll often scour through social media at that point. Lots of companies we know have business meetings on a Monday morning and also on a Friday. So there's less engagement at those times if you're working with someone that goes into board meetings and that type of thing. If you're dealing with individuals, small businesses, micro businesses, it will be far more flexible because they won't have as strict a schedule as someone that may well be employed in a larger organisation that can set their time almost like regimented in what they're going to be doing and when. And they will, may have their 20-minute booked-out slot for checking emails, their 15-minute booked-out slot at a certain time every day to check their social media and their messages. Not all smaller businesses will do that. And certainly if you're dealing with uh, the consumer, i.e. Uh, B2C, then it will be far more difficult to tie that time down. So the important thing here, of course, is that you get your content out. Stress less about when you're putting it out, just you're putting it out on a regular time frame. And if your stuff is really good, people will start to adapt their schedule to make sure that they connect with your content. So if they know your newsletter, for example, goes out at nine o'clock on the first Monday of every month, and they really love your newsletter, then they're going to make sure they're checking that email on that time every month and they'll adapt to it. So be careful with it, be aware of it, but also don't obsess over it because it will drive you crazy and you will sit there pulling your hair out. You may not have any hair left because you pulled it so much of it out and it's not going to achieve what you needed to achieve. Consistency first, see if there's a pattern of behavior, talk to actually real life people understand your audience and when you put all that together with maybe some data that's come through from your scheduling tool then you can start to come up with some semblance of a best guess plan that will help you to be able to schedule your content and remember it's not the same as your mates in business everybody goes my mate does this and I, he posts that and gets really good results well that may well work for your mate and it may well work for his business but unless you've got exactly the same type of business with exactly the same audience probably not going to work for you so work smart think about your consistency first and get out there and get it done see you in the next video mm -hmm.